What are my views of Fethullah Gulen? I respect him very much. I have read some of his works, by no means all, but I think he presents traditional Islamic values with a particular relevance for people in the contemporary world, whether in their homes, in their places of business. I have seen a number of the sites of his followers around the world, and so I know he has a very powerful, motivating um, influence on people. I've been very struck by the generosity of participants in his met, and I know that comes in large measure from the way he can express the call of Islam and inspire people to live out Islamic values in their daily lives. And uh, what do you think of the wider uh, Hizmet Gulen movement's activities? What do I think of the wider Hizmet Gulen movement's activities? I've been privileged to uh, spend time with participants in Hizmet in Australia and in India and in Turkey. In Australia, the Australian Intercultural Society hosted me and a couple other Muslims during a week-long Parliament of the World's Religions in Melbourne. And so I went many different places with members of Hizmet there and was very impressed by the vibrant Turkish Muslim life in this part of Australia. And they hosted the Islamic dinner. On one night of the Parliament, there were dinners for the respective religions and I was their guest. So these were Muslims from all over the world uh, being hosted by Hizmet. And I remember the new, uh, then at that time he was the new president of the Board of Trustees of the Council for a Parliament of the World's Religions. Malik Mujahid was there and was being presented as a very significant Muslim leadership in the international interreligious um, community. And then later I have become a member of the Board of Trustees of the Parliament and work with Malik on a regular basis. In India, I met uh, members of the Hizmet movement in uh, Calcutta. I stayed at the Ramakrishna mission there in the heart of old Calcutta. Then there was a young Turkish gentleman who very kindly took me around and showed me many different things. He came with me one day when we went to the headquarters of the Ramakrishna mission along the banks of the Ganges River and we had a meeting with the number two leader worldwide of the Ramakrishna mission. And this Turkish gentleman in, was reaching out to him trying to develop Hindu-Muslim relations and was inviting him to a dialogue that Hizmet was sponsoring in Bangalore. Then later I went to Delhi and again was hosted on two different occasions by members of Hizmet. They have the Indialogue Foundation in New Delhi. When I was there last January, they invited me to give a talk and actually, Muslims flew in from all over India uh, for this gathering to reflect together on significance of Hizmet. So I've been very impressed by the educational institutions that Hizmet um, organizes in many different areas. I think it's tremendously important that Hizmet offers a high quality education to many young people who otherwise would never be able to afford this quality education. I went on one of the intercultural trips to Turkey in, I guess that was May of 2006, and so we met with people from the, um, the Authors and Writers Forum. Uh, we went to Fatih University. Actually, a year later, I went back and gave a lecture there. The dean of Fatih University had asked me to talk about how universities can contribute to dialogue among the civilizations, and I know that, has, that university has connections to Hizmet. We also visited uh, high schools, grammar schools, all across Turkey, run by Hizmet. Um, and I was very impressed by the generosity of the Turkish members of Hizmet at every occasion. And so I have a very high regard for the Gulen movement.